Hi everybody, welcome back to Joe Is. I'm Joe and this is Joe Is Gaming. In the last couple episodes we managed to do quite a bit of damage to the Japanese. I'm hoping we keep true to that tradition in this episode. And I will bring you back when there's something to see or do. Alright, the USS Hornet has made it back to New Hebrides. So we're going to go ahead and get her uh, crew all rearmored it up and everything. And get these cargo ships uh, full of cargo. And we'll send them back out. I'll catch you back on the next side. I'm going to go ahead and buy two destroyers here and uh, get them loaded up in cargo and send them on a special mission. Go ahead and get some supplies. Uh, some of y'all have informed me that you actually get more points for holding extra islands, so I'm going to go ahead and start capturing some of these unowned islands so we can get extra command points. Therefore, we can uh, defeat the Japanese a little quicker. But I will catch you back when there's something to report. Well, I didn't have to wait long. Um, yeah, look at what I see here. It's been a pretty uneventful last few days in this game, but uh, I was wondering if the Japanese were planning anything big, and it looks like they are. So we've got a carrier just north of Rennell Island. We've got to do something about that, so we're going to go ahead and send eight Avenger torpedo bombers loaded up with torpedoes straight at her and see what we find out. All right, we are in it. Um, looking around, I don't think this is a carrier group. I think we had some misinformation there. So let's go ahead and get these planes hitting the deck. So they can get their torpedo run. It does not look like a... Yeah, there's no carrier in that group, as far as I can see. Unless it's in the back, but it's not new. This is a battleship. Nagato class, looks like. Followed by two heavy cruisers, two light cruisers, and two destroyers. Well, obviously, we're going to go for the battleship. It is a big threat to Rennell Island. It can literally, with those 16-inch cannons that it has, decimate Rennell Island. Basically doing all the supply runs we've been doing to it, nullifying them almost completely. So we've got to do something about it. Some interesting uh, caveats to the class of that ship is that uh, Nagata class was actually the only Japanese battleship to survive World War II. And in American tradition, very American of us to do this, but uh, we took that ship from the Japanese, put her at Bikini Atoll, and I don't know if y'all know much about Bikini Atoll, but it was actually used for a nuclear testing site. And we detonated not one, but two nukes around Nagato. And the second one finally sending her to the bottom, which a lot of people actually dive there now, and they said it's one of the top ten dive sites to see. Um, I'll go ahead and put up a little picture here of actual testing that they did on the poor Nagato class. It's a shame that we did that to a piece of history, but we weren't really thinking about that back then. But I'll go ahead and get these Avengers all planned out on their attack run, and we will continue. Let's go ahead and get a good angle here. Let's see if we can get the torpedoes dropping out of the, the hangar. Or Bombay. Already oh, starting to take some damage from the heavy flak. Torpedoes are away. All right, let's go ahead and get an angle here. So far, so good on our torpedo bombers. They're not taking any losses. I uh, should have just shut my mouth. Looks like some are gonna miss. On two, three, four. Another one went down, damn it. So three torpedoes missed completely. So we should hit with five technically, but I only saw Yeah, yeah, uh, no, we had a dud torpedo. Darn it. She only has a small fire going, so uh and she's still making very good speed, so I doubt we got her this one. We're probably gonna have to send another flight out after her. Like I said, this is a tough ship. She survived two nuclear bombs. I don't think five torpedoes is going to be enough, but you never know. She is getting low in the water, but she's still making good speed. Nope, she's managed to put a fire out, so she is going to survive this morning so far, but uh, we still got a lot of morning to go, and we still have a lot of planes to launch. The USS Hornet is currently out of range and is not going to be able to... 
get in on this action, but she this ship does have damage, heavy damage. That'll help us out. So we'll, all the attacks are going to have to come from Manila Island. So we'll go ahead and RTB this flight and get a new flight up. And I will catch you back when we are back in the action. Uh, it is almost 6 o'clock in the morning on September 1st, 1942. And we are going to send up another flight of, well, a flight of B-17s. I just went ahead and sent one out from the mainland. Or not say mainland, New Hebrides. Uh, take a while to get here, but we'll go ahead and hit them with the B-17s. Do some level bombing on them. Hopefully that'll get them away. She seems to have turned around and is now heading the opposite direction. So apparently we gave her enough damage to make her reconsider the uh, attack run on uh, Rennell Island, thankfully. But I'll go ahead and get these guys up, set up. Actually, I'll stick around for a sec and let you inform you all that uh, some of your subscriber told me to put them in the Vic formation. We'll have a better chance of uh, getting our strikes. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll come back when we start our attack run. Go ahead and try to get them come in from their uh, left side here, but it looks like they're already starting to take evasive action. So it doesn't matter what side we pick on here. They're going to make it as hard as possible, and good on them for doing so. But... Uh, we're going to rain lead anyways. I think we'll just go ahead and attack. I was wanting to get a good position here, but I think she's going to be dodging. So unless I split my groups up, which will take a while, I think we just go ahead and attack here. And we'll come back with another attack run if we need to. Here we go. Get a little cinematic view. Get the bombs dropped. As the AI collides with itself. Looks like the battleship is basically heading off all by itself, which is really not a smart move. I think they would concentrate their AA, but they're not, and that's fine by me. Sun is still low in the sky as the bullets fly, and we're already starting to take damage. Luckily, B-17s have a lot more health. We're getting bombs away. Flax still heavy. Alright, any second now. Miss. Oh man, miss. Oh, we got a hit. We got two hits. Two good hits. Three good hits. Okay, I'm, I'm, I stand corrected. I ain't almost a kamikaze. We did lose one B-17 in that so far. Hopefully we don't lose anything else. Should learn from my earlier mistakes and shut my mouth. But we just hit her with three 2,000 pound bombs. And I think we scratched the paint. I hope we did. And the ship's tough. She is not going to be sinking on this run. So we're going to have to come back with another flight. I don't know if I want to do torpedo bombers or... Level bombing. We have the B-17s coming in already, so we'll probably go ahead and go with uh, sort of torpedo runs next time. But we'll see. But I'll catch you back on the map when there's something to do. All right. We'll go ahead and resend out a fight of, uh, I think we go Avengers this time around. Cause it seems like those bombs don't do jack to a super dreadnought. Wildcats are in range. I have to go ahead and ignore we don't want them to engage. They would do absolutely nothing to a battleship. All right, let's get our torpedo bombers in range here. Ah, here we are. Let's go ahead and we're way too close. Let's go ahead and increase speed and bank right hard. Let's go ahead and hit the deck. And we will get into a attack position. They are already shooting flak at us. Let's get out of here. We are not ready yet. Right, let's go ahead and straighten out those flak shells completely missed thanks to our quick dodging. Go ahead and get in line ahead formation for these little guys. These Avengers fought last time. They lost a couple of their comrades and I feel like they uh, want some more vengeance. I'd want to avenge my comrades as well. So We're going to give them the chance to here. Hopefully they'll actually be able to bag them on. Bag them a battleship of all things. I'd be called that a good day. Turned a day from almost losing a headquarters, an upgrade to our island, to maybe potentially getting a battleship, I hope. She is a tough ship. It took two nukes to bring her down, so I expect her to take quite a bit more damage before the day is done. 
but I'll go ahead and approach or come back when uh, we have uh, attack run vectored out and set up. as our planes merge with one another. They still have yet to open up with their guns. Kind of a little curious about that and wondering why. Ah, oh, here they come. All right, here we come in. Torpedoes should be launching any second now. Indeed they are. Go ahead and swap over to Battleship, get its point of view. Ooh. I'm not going to say it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, bad, bad. I don't think we're going to get any. No. Oh, wait, yeah, one. One. How many pilots do we lose? Trying to see them. Wow. Just lost one. So we still have some teeth left on Rennell Island. But the battleship took another torpedo and said no. It pulled a gand off. And completely. You, you shall not pass us. Do not collect two hundred dollars. All right, well let's go ahead and try this again. This time I think we'll do the B-17s, so though they should be in range from uh, mm -hmm. New Hebrides any moment now. And I will be back when we're doing that. Well, all right, the uh, flight from New Hebrides is still out of range, so I'm gonna go ahead and give the Avengers here another swing at the bat. Um, we've really taken heavy casualties on their flight group today. We almost lost half of them, uh, so. Hopefully we'll ma manage to pull it out and get this thing, hopefully, finally. I'm going to go ahead and attack, set up my attack run and get the Avenger set up, and I will come back when we begin. All right, our flight is set up. Attack pa pattern uh, beta is in motion, and we are going to come in hot. The cannons have yet to open up. It looks like we have... Okay, no, it's just a scout. I was forgetting, oh my god, they sent zeros, but they didn't, so we're good. But uh, here we go. Let's go ahead and zoom in here a little bit. Get a little better view of the action here. Torpedoes should be dropping in the water any second now. Already starting to take some damage, unfortunately. Ooh, that was a good flak burst. Torpedoes are away. All of them got off. This torpedo spread looks a lot better. Looks like we might get two, maybe three, one, dud. Oh man. And we lost another two Avengers, so this is, we lost over half our Avengers today. And the battleship is still going strong. Looks like we might get, no, they're going to, yeah. Uh, I was getting hopeful that maybe we get a heavy cruiser out of it, but not today. Uh, we've got to get this battleship. I'll be back when we have the uh, flight from uh, New, uh, New Hebrides in, in the area. All right, our B-17s finally have made it. 8 o'clock in the morning. It is, the sun is fully up in the sky now. So we can hopefully get some pretty pictures. Make sure that this is the right one because I did have two B flights of B-17s up. And one of them already dropped their bombs, but we're good here. Looks like they all have their bombs. So I'm going to go ahead and get these guys set up, and I'm actually going to set separate them and split them up so that uh, any evasive actions that the capital ship may try to do uh, will be null and void by at least one of the groups. Alright, as we predicted, the battleships have started uh, making evasive actions, but unfortunately for it, I have another group that's ready to be in, and in position to do some damage the way we were supposed to do. 
And I want to also say thank you to the subscriber who also gave me this little piece of advice, but he told me to individually have them attack instead of formation attack. It'll be a little, he said they would be more likely to hit their strike. So we're going to do a little test run here and see if what he said was true. He probably is. He's been right about most things so far, if not everything. Uh, but we'll go ahead and get them set up individually attacking, and I will come back when the run begins. All right, B-17s have their orders, and they are commencing the attack. Let's go ahead and speed up time here a little bit. We are already in the uh, gun envelope, so we can't speed up time anymore, but we are coming right over top of her. Any second now, the bombs should be dropping. Heavy flak. Ooh, that was a good hit. The bombs are away. Big ol' bombs. Hopefully we get successful on them. We shall see. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, looks like we got three hits on her. I see three clouds. Yes, three hits, no duds. All fire. And she is dead in the water. That's a very good sign. We still have another flight coming over any second now. She'll be dropping their bombs and hopefully they'll get some more damage. But being that her speed stops, they may uh, actually miss the target. Hopefully not. But we will see in a few seconds. Come on, she's a fire. Nope, we got hits. It's like two hits. Three hits. Okay, cool. Well, she is a blaze. Still giving the good fight, but I don't see her making it. I think we nagged, uh, tagged us one uh, Nagato class battleship. Hopefully, I don't want to jinx myself here, but it looks like that's what's going to happen. Well, unlike the actual. Nagato class battleship. This one is not going to survive this air quote World War II campaign and is going to be sinking to the bottom. We did it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's where we could be a good place to uh, leave us off here. We did manage to get one Nagato-class battleship for the day. Maybe the only thing we got, but man, we got it. So I will catch all of y'all in the next episode. God bless, peace, love, tacos, and I will see y'all later. Peace.